that sorted everything out. Let's hope it has. Right. Uh, yeah, just some computer wars and issues and recording issues and so on. Uh, very quick mention. Uh, a lot of guys have started watching my other channel. I'm, I know I said I'm not going to mention it. I am. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so at least there's some content up this time. Uh, so there's quite oh, a deal. So more than I thought. So originally there's that video up, I think, and then maybe that one. But as you can see, there's a lot more going on. I have a deadline uh, for a few. Oh, well, quite actually, most of the things are on here. Uh, the motion track I've got a deadline on. The pulse rifle I've got a deadline on. The gear I've got a deadline on. The blade I've got a deadline on. The egg I've got a deadline on. You get what I mean. So anyway, that's going really well. If you don't know what that is, it is just a... Uh, I'm actually even rendering a video right now. Um, another video for it. It's actually moving on to the next thing. Um, yeah, it's going really well. And uh, I'm enjoying it. It's good fun. It's it's weird starting up a new channel um, and starting from scratch. Because like, my views are... Um, just really like look that ever since I mentioned it on my channel, it's nine a thousand percent higher because <laughs> uh, you mention it, you get a bump. Obviously, people watch it, they find it interesting, or they don't, they move on, you know. But we're still down here, like today's views at seven, seven, six views. I'm still, you know, and it's them early days, and it's quite cool being in them early days. So, I encourage anyone if you are starting a channel, you know, I got a massive bump because I have this channel to promote this channel. But, like I say, um, this is this big intro bit is more about starting your own YouTube. Yes, Del Nobhead has been on um, YouTube forever. Yes, I've been on YouTube for eight years now. And you think, well, how could you ever possibly? But the old knobs like me, we either move on to something else, which is not what this is, but... You either move on to something else or you just give up and don't bother anymore. Even people who were up there at 100,000, 500,000 views, they just one day just give up and move on and just leave it up there and it slowly trickles down and to become nothing. Or they get deleted, all this, that and the other. But don't think that you can't because out of the 50 or the 1,000 of people, the 1,000 people who think they shouldn't but should and then give it a go... One of them is a really good channel kind of thing. You know what I mean? Some people don't make it. And I like, in a sense, the thing with YouTube. That it's a bit like evolution. It's like natural selection. But any road, that's the new channel. I'm enjoying it. It's going well. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get on to what this is actually about. Um, but like I say, there'll be a link in the description. If you, this, is the last, uh, this is the last time I mention it. I just didn't think that many people are interested. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, you don't. It's that simple. Um, is it going to eat some time of this channel? Cos it is. It's impossible not to, but that's just the way it works. There's a mad rush until November, December, and then it will be that'll be trickling down to a much more gradual video output, and I can get back on with this basically. So uh, this channel, let's put it that way. Any road, so I've just come back of holiday and I've just recorded this morning because I'm not at work, I've got the rest of the week off. I say rest, it's Friday. Um, I've just recorded the one to forgetting it was Friday and forgetting there'd be a new video, and this is the new video, so let's watch the new video. It has only been out. Well, it's got 217 views, not long. So let's see what happens. Oh, it's green. Ah, I was on all of <laughs> Why would you do that, really? Right, good morning, welcome back. Now today, my plan was to come in and fit the wiring loom on the bike, wipe it down with contact cleaner, thread it all carefully back through the frame, clip it all contact up. Contact cleaner, that's not what you should be using. <laughs> All right, whatever. And plug it all back in, job done. But unfortunately I can't do that because taking a closer look at things, the battery crate, the fuse... Right, I don't believe this, right? You always knew this when you took it apart. It's a shit state. Unless you... Unless he's got magical chipboard pixies that clean stuff when you put it in a cardboard box. 
not going to happen, is it? Box, the headlight shell, they're in a terrible state and they're all involved in that. So I can't do it yet. And also while I was looking at that metal work, I checked out the oil tank and these mudguards, they're awful. The mudguards are going to get a bit of surgery. They're going to get chopped up, but the paint needs to come off them still. So today instead, I'm going to suspend the wiring loom. I can do that job later. Put that to one yeah, side. Off camera, that'd be nice. Get all this metal work completely isolated, strip all the paint off it and get it prepared. Because tomorrow I've got a full day booked at the paint shop. Let's do it. You make it sound like it was a mystery. <laughs> it's... I just find, I know it's petty, I just find it funny that he goes through all this. I'm going to tell you a story and then, oh, shock, horror, there's all these bits that need doing. But I've got it booked for tomorrow to do these bits in the paint shop. It's just, who, who do you think's watching? Like seven-year-olds or something, and we can't string this shit together. Oh. I want to see, is he going to pop those rivets? I don't think he is. Right, so this is what you do, right? This is where you're fucking up. In the many ways. But you meant to mock this shit up. If you're going to cut that mud guard, you want to mock this up. There's a, several reasons. One, you can scratch, just say if this was powder coated or painted properly or whatever, you could scratch this with that. This is mucky, new tyres, new wheels, he's had new wheels, new shocks, new frame, new everything, new engine. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> you could scratch this with this. You also don't know if you have to make any modifications to anything else, but instead you put everything, like brake calipers and shit back on, a brand new chain. Stuff's falling off this onto the chain. You're like, oh my god, what am I doing? He never does a dry mock-up where you completely finish everything, then get it all painted and then do final assembly. He never does this. Do Dell, they do it in American Chop. Well, they sometimes do. <laughs> and they always say that they should. So why don't you learn from that? They're your number one fanboys. So why don't you learn and do what they do and say? I don't, well proclaim to say and do now well say all the time but do now and then the other thing is as well is i just thought you need to cut this now so when you cut this and you're spraying shit into the air it's not all going to rest and settle on this then you don't have to blanket it every five seconds on and off on and off on and off oh god it's painful isn't it What was that? He just magically... Let's go back and watch what he does. This is how he works out where he wants to cut it. Just magically about there, like that. Ah, oh, alright then. It's like, for fuck's sake. You take all the... Again, you take all the... Take this shit off. Clean it, then take it over. I don't, I don't get it. Surely common sense tells you all this. Surely. Oh. He is trilling rivets now. Hey, I don't know why I didn't explain to his... Well, I know, because every time he says something bullshits, then we laugh at him, but... For his own audience, ignoring us wankers, why don't he do it for his own audience? Or does he realise that this is just enough? They love him regardless. <laughs> new press. uses a grind like that just fucking plows it in until it cuts it's like whoa 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 <laughs> that's that gone then are we gonna are we just gonna leave it like that without leaving have we left any access to roll the edge or anything 
silly question. Brass inside. How did you get that? Did you just pull them out or did it just come with it? Well, that's a bit dumb. What? <laughs> They're not working properly. <laughs> so, these are serrated brass inserts and they are basically driven into plastic, like plastic screws. They are driven into plastic and they bind up. That is the whole point. Now you have a metal captive thread in your plastic parts so you can screw shit into them the fact that they come out no that means they're done but no no well look at me it's like a bloody it's a hot dog in a bucket see when you turn them now they're just going to turn harley davidson quality as usual Battery tray, take that out. Take that out. Oh, I see, even they don't bother rolling edges or anything. They just put bloody, what do you call it now? Edging on the edge. Mmm, powder. Well, at least one thing they did was, it looks like it was powder coated. It seems to be coming off like it. Could be pain though. Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, I just cut that off. Good news. Good news. Right, is he going to get a new piece of pipe? I doubt it. Let me put that in the bin. Harley Davidson don't understand what the word integration means. <laughs> Lovely. Where are you going? Oh, it's actually just play because Penny's not here. Oh, I hate old headlights. Thank God they're a thing of the past. Jesus Christ. I don't envy Craig fucking around with old stuff. All the Enfield nonsense. Oh. That's watertight. Shit. <laughs> Shame the coating wasn't. It seems so bizarre sticking new, like modern, more modern connectors into something so archaic. It just seems bizarre. It'd be like putting a fly-by wire system or, you know, reactive aileron control, aileron control, aileron. What did I say? Aileron controls you know, into like a spitfire, it'd be like weird. Put that in the bin. Put that in the bin. Right, there we are. That's them all isolated. Now let's clean them off. They're not isolated, they're just like everything's taken off them. Scuff the paint off and then bead blast them all except the oil tank, obviously. Why? Explain to your audience though, why would you not bead blast that? Wrong tool. We 
Yeah, I've never seen Dell use blue rag. Ever. That's a new addition. I don't put on a bit of string. That's just a pain in the ass. Either I've got a dispenser on the wall. Either use one of them where it comes out the bottom. The so-so. Or you get yourself a kitchen roll stick kind of thing. Like that. Just a bit of wood. Or you put it on the wall like a rail. You know what I mean? You put like a, a, a hinge. Not a hinge. A bloody... You could have them even have it sticking out of the wall. Just screw it to the wall and have your roll on it. First time, first time I've ever seen you Dell use blue rag. And a bottle full of the stuff instead of an aerosol. Extractor, no. Mm. Okay. Why don't you put his extractor fans on? Oh, it's getting smoky in there. How much fucking room he's got in there to do nothing. Was that? No, they are rivets, surely. The rivets. But see all this shit around here, doll, you're missing it. Take them rivets off. Some grease in its in its gear in Jesus. Oh, he uses a grinder like he welds. <laughs> hey, Vicey, what's going on, dude? How is how is how has it been going? How how is how, how are the airlines? <laughs> Uh, you can't make yourself. You can't make yourself laugh. Side first because they're the badly bit, badly, badly, badly corroded bits. He's just fucking throwing air at it. Oh, doing nothing. And the thing is, the load on the compressor because it can't keep up, it's just on. Off for a bit, on! Oh, off for a bit, on! Oh, it's duty cycle must be like 90%. Oh, it's I don't understand why he's not going to be blast the tank. Is he saying that he thinks he's going to get thinner? <laughs> not with that fucking blaster in. Oh, God, as well. Gorgeous world, lads. Oh, what's going on? Are you retarded? Right then, that was a uh, computer malfunction. Oh, that was a computer malfunction. <laughs> Again. It's all right, we're back. Luckily, I knew exactly where he was, and we were talking about him making this too thin. And he's about to talk some claptrap. Look at these gorgeous welds. Oh, that's brazed on. Hmm. 
Right, there we are. Eight shiny bright bits of metal at the end of a very long day, and I'm happy with the results. The two mud guards ready for fabrication. Are we going to see a sweeping pass of all of these awesome bits that you've managed to blast? I would love to, because you usually do show off, or try to show off what you think you've done. Put those to one side and come back to them later, and the other six pieces, well, they're ready for paint. So that's Alrighty. it for today. Thank you for watching. Take it easy, ride safe, and I'll see you tomorrow at the paint show. Show some close-ups. This is not ready for paint. Are you fucking kidding me? I can see all of it. It's shit everywhere. Are you fucking having me on? There's shit everywhere. There's still black. There's still bloody paint on the other side of that. No. Just no. No. It's always the same side that I've noticed. Shows the other side. Shows the back side of that. Uh, ah well oh we're fading out to black now well i can't wait for the fabrication because that is the best bit let's have a quick scan through the comments just to see what fucking gems we can find but then after that we can't end this debacle seven comments what's happened to the dislike thing no one disliked that, I don't believe that. Um, we say, spot on prep work as always. You managed to keep safe and dry in all the downpours we had over the last week. Be interesting seeing that the cut down guard when it goes back on will definitely change the look of the bike. Had a cracking weekend, mate, and spend big and sending big love to you and P. Oh, not many people watch this. What grit were you using to strip the paint? A right busy beaver. Oh, God. Hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit.